All right, well, welcome back, guys, to Icarus. I'm back in this uh, crazy, dangerous world. <laughs> We're in the middle of a storm right now. Um, I just put down the stone furnace, and that's because I was able to level up just one level, and um, I unlocked that as well as the anvil. So I'm smelting some metal that we got way back in the first episode, and it looks like I've got some things taking damage out here. wonder if it's just the wall yeah it looks like it's just the wall that's okay and then i did add some windows here where at least the i guess window covers whatever you want to call them because the windows were already built into the walls um but yeah so they're quick and easy to close and open for storms so right now i've got them closed for obvious reasons and i started building up here a little bit now it's clearly unfinished it takes a little bit of work going back and forth from here all the way out to the trees and the further back that i'm cutting the longer it takes to get the trees and stuff but we're making progress and so right now i'm kind of just waiting the storm out i should probably do some repairing looks like it's just coming to an end here now i built this second floor because i was very very quickly running out of room and so i'm putting down my second storage box up here and then let's see here i'll probably have the workbench up there as well but I really need to finish it before I start adding more stuff up here because I don't want to throw it all up here and then it ends up getting destroyed by a storm because I don't have walls up here. Um, but for now, it's all kind of coming together. I like the furnace. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and oh my goodness, we have a bunch of iron ingot here. So let's see, what's the next step? So we've got the workbench so we can craft the anvil. That needs 40 iron ingot. Okay, that's okay. We actually have... A little bit more. We've got a lot more cooking up here. I actually don't know if we're going to have enough because I think it takes two iron ore to make one iron ingot. Is that right? We're going to find out here in a second. It's going to go from 32 to 30. Yeah. So we're going to have about 15 more. Wow, we're going to have just enough. That's actually really lucky. So I'm going to let that cook up. And then I also unlocked the basic fishing bench, which I won't be able to do just yet because I need to make copper nails. Um, so we need to find copper somewhere. Which I'm pretty sure we don't have, right? Nothing in there. Okay, yeah, we don't have copper. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll smelt it down in the furnace. And then once we craft that anvil, we'll be able to make the nails. I believe that's, that's what seems to make sense in my head. But all right, now that that storm has passed, we've got another beautiful day ahead of us. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take my axe and uh, chop down a few more trees so that we can finish that upstairs. And... Oh, man, I have to be so careful around here. Every time that I jump back into this world, there's about 115 alligators or crocodiles ready to kill me, and they uh, they do not like to give up. But I think the next kind of... I, I think the next upgrade's probably going to be some iron tools. I think that's going to help us kind of speed up this whole process of kind of grinding towards the next objectives. Because then eventually, if I remember right, there is a some kind of like radio bench, essentially, that's going to allow us to actually do missions, which I think is really cool. And I'm really excited to try that out. I don't know if we'll get to that this episode, but, um, but it's definitely a goal that I want to hit at some point very soon. Okay, we got the upstairs finished. Looks pretty good. Now we've got kind of a balcony of sorts up here. Eventually, maybe I'll put some railings out. And I want to do the kind of the same thing downstairs. And then probably build out down here so we've got some more space to work with. And then eventually, of course, another bridge straight across here. Um, but that's for future me to deal with. For now, let's get back down here. Let's go into here. Let's grab the rest of these. Throw them in here. We have one extra to spare so let's craft up the anvil now all right there we go um let's move this upstairs here then i'll grab this which is just the one iron ingot and then i'm gonna have to do some like real organization at some point because i'm not liking the layout of things right now but this is gonna do and then I might as well put this probably here. And there we go. Yeah, let me get some light in here. I got the, the torch on my hip. 
All right, that's pretty cool. Um, so let's see here. I could make iron nails. I can't make any copper. Can't make the iron throwing knife or the iron knife. We need a lot more metal for that. Which, you know what? I think we might have a node or two all the way over here. And if we do, I'm going to get some of that, start smelting it. And then I think what I'm going to try and do is find one of the buffalo around here and see if we can, I guess, train it or, or somehow let us ride it is, is basically the ultimate goal. So I'm pretty certain we can. I just have no clue how. I might need some kind of food or something like that. I guess we'll have to figure it out as we go. I don't know what this guy's doing right here. I'm not going to bug him. <laughs> I'm going to go search for some metal here quick. What is this? Oh, this is sulfur. Um, yeah, let me try and... F oh! There's a cave right next to our home. Well, let's get our bow out because there's no way this is safe. Oh, this is super convenient. Oh, my goodness. All right, where are you guys at? There you are. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, okay. Oh, I cannot see them. Is that okay? That one's dead. Nope. Okay, he's back. Okay, you're going to come out of your hole over here? I do not understand these worms at all. There they are. Take his guts and his skin. And I think we're safe now. And look at all this ore. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Okay, this is gold. We've got some copper. We're going to want some of that. And we've got iron, so... Oh no, my inventory's full. Okay, so I'm going to have to uh, unload some of this stuff. Or wait, hold on. Let's make a quick uh, wooden crate and we'll just store it in here so the weather should not affect it. And look at that. We can place it down right here. All right, we just leveled up. Let me finish up this iron node here. And a couple more. Okay. I think that's the best we're going to do on that one. Um, let's see here. So, like I said, I do want to upgrade kind of to the metal tools. That's going to be really good. We've got three points available. I say, yeah, two of them just go in there. Might as well. And then let's see what else here. Maybe a skinning bench too. Fully processed animal carcasses for more resources. That's not really a problem right now. And I would like eventually a wood crop plot. That'd be pretty cool so we can get a kind of a garden going. But that's that's going to be the future. Oh, we can put a fishing trap down too. Okay, that's going to need refined wood and, and nails and rope. Uh, that refined wood I don't think we could make just yet. You know what? Just for fun, let's make, let's make this wall torch. Screw it. We'll put it up on the walls and uh, hopefully they don't set the place on fire. Okay, I basically added just some uh, extra weight capacity for my inventory. Um, speaking of that, let's throw these in here. And then I'll have to find some watermelon or just some water here in a second. Can I drink this? Is this safe? It just says water source. I don't trust it right now. Okay, we got a bunch of iron. We got a bunch of uh, copper. So let's head back to our base, which again, that's so convenient that there's a cave right next to it. It's just over this little ridge here and we've got our base just over. Oh, that crocodile finally got out of that rock. Okay, I have just enough now for the basic fishing bench, so let's craft that up. And then I've got a bunch more iron cooking up right now, too, and that's going to allow us to make some iron tools, and that's going to be so nice. I don't know if this should be outside, but it's going to be because I feel like that's where a fish fillet station should be. Um, it's probably going to take some damage in every storm that we have, 
but I, it doesn't feel right to have it inside. So it looks like we've got two different functions with this. We can use the left side to craft some fishing rods, I think, and some lures. And then we can use the right side to fillet some fish. So while we wait for this stuff to cook up, I say we grab our fishing rod wherever that may be. Here it is. Oh, wait, we've got two of them. I still have one in my inventory. So uh, let's head out to the dock that I so wonderfully built last episode and um, do some fishing and see what filleting the fish is like. There we go. We got a spotted snapper. Beautiful. All right, let's head over here and see what that's like to fillet him up. I guess we just got to throw him in here and we don't really have to do anything. We now just have some freshwater fish fillets. So it gets us 15 food when consumed. That's it. Can we throw maybe one on here? Let me, let me try that. Does that do anything? Oh. Okay, so once that dries, we get 30 health and 150 food. And then we get a bunch of stamina, stamina regen, health regen, and minus food consumption. Oh, that's really cool. Um, then we should also be able to cook it up. So, pretty similar. That's actually not bad at all. All right, we have just enough for an iron pickaxe. Let's go. And then we just need some nails. And we've got the iron axe. Beautiful. Oh, we have enough for the uh, knife, too. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. So let's just destroy the ones that we have. They're pretty useless. Boom. There we go. All right. So as much as I want to go and hunt that bison right now, now that I've got a uh, another, now that I've got a better knife, I say we head over there and see if we can lure him in. Not before I kill this Komodo dragon really quick. All right, break in the new iron knife. Here we go. Beautiful. Yeah, this is gonna have way better durability. All right, come here, Mr. Buffalo. I think I keep calling him a bison, but you know what I mean. I don't want the small one. I want the big one. All right. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. See, I swear before I was able to, like, lead one of them. Maybe it's because I had food on me. I wonder if I need to go get some berries. Or, oh, hold on. Uh, how about this pumpkin? Can I lead you with this pumpkin? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, I got a few berries. Let's go back and find those buffalo and um, see if we get any different results. All right, here they are. Hey, buddy. How you doing? See, oh man. Can I put it in my hands? No. How about some raw meat? No. I swear, before, it gave me the option to lead the buffalo. Here, let me go try those uh, moa. Is that what they were called? These guys over here. Hopefully, I didn't just jump into a pit of alligators. <laughs> Crocodiles, whatever you want to call them. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the baby of the, the parent that I killed last time. And he hasn't really moved. He's just sitting here sad and lonely. I'm sorry. Okay, I can press to lead this guy. Um, hold the stop taming. So taming progress. So it looks like temperature's okay. He wants food. Uh, he is sleepy though. Well, I don't know what to do about that, buddy. Can you follow me through the water? Do you know how to swim? <laughs> he actually just runs with me. That's amazing. All right. I'm your new parent now. Come with me. Oh, you do kind of know how to swim. Maybe? Okay, yes, he is coming my way. Oh, beautiful. Come on, buddy. All right, not a fast swimmer, but that's okay. Neither am I. Um, the thing is, I don't have any food for him. That I Well, I don't know how to feed him. 
Um, I don't have anywhere for him to sleep. Are you able to come in here, little guy? Come on, come on, come on. Up here? <gasps> come on in. Please, can you come in here? Come on, come on, come on. I go up. <gasps> here, hold on. Let me, let me put this out. I'm burning uh, coal. Look at this guy. All right, I'm making zero progress on the tame part. Um, how do I give him food? Can I just drop some here? He's sleepy. So I know in the tech tree... Whoa, kind of loud. In the tech tree, there was like a trough, I think, that I could unlock. Yeah, there's a water trough and a food trough um, and a saddle. I don't have any of these things, so... <laughs> maybe it's a little bit too early to be training this guy. Oh, there's an animal bed, too. Okay. So, if I really wanted to tame this guy, um, I'd have to unlock all of those things first. Well, for now, if you just want to hang out in here, that's fine. Just don't poop anywhere and don't break anything, and uh, I think we'll be cool. Alright, so we've got kind of a big storm coming through. It's a thunderstorm. If lightning strikes this building, I'm kind of in trouble. I do have my fireworker on me, just in case. But we've got, if you look in the top right, we do have a couple of kind of heavy parts coming in. You hang in there, little buddy. Don't go anywhere. Wow, that was a lightning strike. Hopefully we're not on fire. No, we look okay. And to make sure to close that door so our, uh, our little friend doesn't get out just yet. <laughs> I love how he's just hanging out. Okay. We survived that one. That was not too bad. Just had a few little stints in there where it got pretty windy and uh, pretty kind of crazy, but we survived that just fine. All right. Well, it's the next morning. I want to level up as much as I can. And uh, right now I'm level 12 and um, I want to unlock as many things as possible. So I want to try and get a little jump ahead here. And so I'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys. So I've been doing a little bit of grinding here. I'm now level 15. And what I ended up doing here in tier two was I unlocked the short range radio and the orbital exchange interface. I don't know what that second thing is, but this I think allows us to do missions. I guess we're going to find out here in a second. We need 15 iron ingot, eight rope and 10 wood. That's actually pretty cheap. Uh, we need a little bit. Wait, just more. One more rope. Okay. And then let's grab some iron ingot out of here. We've got a bunch cooked up, so that's really good. And then, here we go. Let's craft it up. Let me throw some of this wood back here. You know what I'm going to do while I'm here? I'm going to grab all this wood. And we're going to craft these wood piles. Max, we're going to do three. I think they're going to start falling out of my inventory unless I place them down before the next one crafts. But that's okay. Oh, yeah, we're over encumbered. Um, let's put these just on the side here. There we go. All right, we'll get those later if we ever need them, which we will. We're going to need to expand our base pretty soon here. As much space as I thought that I had, it's, it's really not that much. Maybe we'll bring this all the way out, and I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for now, looks like we do have our radio. So I don't know if this has to go outside. Maybe I can just put it right in this corner here. How does that look? <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Okay. Um, oh, unable to establish orbital uplink. Ensure device has adequate clearance from local obstructions. Okay, so we do not want it right here. So let's pick that up. Let's go outside here. I didn't leave that front door open. No, I didn't. I don't want our little friend to escape. And I'll say every single time that I come into the base, that MOA that we have in there scares the crap out of me. I always forget that he's in there. Okay. So this should have clearance, right? Oh, here we go. Okay, missions available. Request a mission by clicking the button below. So we've got an easy one and a hard one. One's a hunt. One's a locate an abandoned base and search it for the UDA. I say we start out easy. I, <laughs> I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I do that pretty frequently. So this one says hunt some nearby creatures in the current area to help make the area safe for other prospectors. Well, I doubt anyone else is going to be here, but... Oh, right as I start that weather event starts. 
So we need to kill some uh, camoy. Uh, is that how you say that? Camoy? I don't know. There's a couple wolves out here. I wonder if more of them will show up now that I've activa activated that mission or if I just really have to find them because there haven't been much around here. Um, I did add this bridge over here too, by the way. There's just so many instances with like alligators and things like that where I need to get across water and bears even. And um, it's just easier having these little land bridges. Um, I'm not going to be able to stay out here too long, but I was hoping to maybe find one of the animals before this weather gets too difficult for us. There's a deer. Let me just take him out. He doesn't even see us. Shoot, yeah, I'm not seeing any of them. And I'm guessing now that this storm rolled through. Uh, yeah, I don't see any animals out here anymore, except for the buffalo. Oh, and I guess the wolves. I don't know. I thought they did start to take shelter as soon as this weather hits, but I don't know. Let's take these wolves out while we're here. I'm sorry, I am killing some of the buffalo. I really need the XP. I would like to ride one of these guys, but I want to see if we can tame this uh, this Moa. I want to call him an emu. I don't know. That, that's, that's what I know him as. All right, hey, buddy. You know, I need a name for this guy. I don't know what we should call him or if it's a male or female. I guess it doesn't matter. But eventually, I'd like to raise him up. You know, get him a little little house of his own maybe or at least a room inside here um i did by the way unlock a few things in regards to that moa i unlocked the food trough basic riding saddle the animal bed and the water trough um so i think we're gonna have everything we need to train this guy um and then i also did unlock the leather backpack and the textiles bench which allows us to actually craft these things so maybe we do that while the storm comes through we're gonna need leather fur rope fiber some nails and wooden sticks. Okay, so let's make the animal bed quick and then some rope. I don't know how much we need it, but it's not going to be 42. Let's just make 20 for now. And there we go. We've got the riding saddle queued up. And then I'm guessing the troughs should be in here. Yes. Okay, so let's get some iron nails quick. I think we've got plenty of iron for that. Let's do 30. And while those cook up, let's go back over to the fire here. Oh, we need some wood on it. So let's throw some on, activate that, get those cooked up. Okay, so we need some wood quick. So let's grab one of these stacks. I don't know if we can just break it down. Or we got to pick it up. Okay, so I think when we pick it up, it automatically breaks it down to a stack of 100. Is that right? Okay, yes. Beautiful, it did. Okay, now we got the food trough and the water trough. Oh, this is kind of exciting. Yeah, I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Let me throw some meat onto the dryer. Okay, and then I know I've got a hundred things being crafted right now, but then I also unlocked the longbow. So I think I'm gonna just craft that now since I've got all the materials for it. Okay, so we got the water trough, the longbow, and then the food trough in here as well. And then in here, we've got the animal bed and the basic riding saddle. So, um, looks like the rain's just about to finish up here. I wonder if we make kind of a quick little room just for our friend that we've got up here. Okay, we got his little room built. Let oh my goodness, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, let me uh, let me change some things up here. Okay, there it is. He's got a nice little bed up here. Um, let's see here. I don't know if I should be doing this stuff inside, but I'm doing it. I don't care. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Something happened. Oh no 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 no! Get out of there! Get out of here! No no no! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! What are you doing? Come here! No! No! I'm trying to lead him! Get out of there! Oh wait! No no no! So our emu ran away. I, I think I left the door open a little bit earlier. Um, so we're gonna have to find another one. Either that or a bison. Um, in the meantime, we do have our longbow, so that's gonna be really nice. We should be a little bit more accurate. Probably more powerful, right? Yeah, 25% extra damage. Um, let's go put it to the test. We got a, uh, Komodo dragon right here. And I missed. <laughs> 300 damage plus 80. I think before we were doing like 50 to 60 up for the regular hits. So that's pretty good. Okay, well, um, we have to kill those camoy or whatever, however you say that. Um, it's getting pretty dark. I'm probably going to end up sleeping through the night. Let, let me go back to the base here really quick, see if there's anything that we need to take care of. And then um, we'll probably just get into the next morning. And for no reason whatsoever, uh, before I went to bed, I added these railings. Um, I just think it looks really nice. And that's the only function that they serve. Alright, good morning. It is the next day. It's a new day. Let's go, I guess, hunt some camoy, uh, finish this mission, and see what we get from it. There we go. We just hit six out of six. What in the... Oh, man. I hurt myself falling down. What's happening over here? Um, collect payment from the Senatoi... Senatai? Reward pod. Oh, so I guess a whole pod jumped down? Or dropped down? Ooh, where is that? Oh, it shows up on my compass here. Okay, interesting. So we're not just given a reward. It, it, it doesn't just show up in our inventory. We actually have to go and retrieve it from some kind of pod that dropped down. Oh, here it is. That's a cute little pod they dropped for us. That was so kind of them. Let's check this out. Ooh, we get to pick. Okay, so we can do a hunting bow thing that comes with steel arrows anywhere between 10 to 30, I think is what that means. And some poison arrows from 5 to 15. Or... Technology advancement pickaxe, melee damage attachment, and a gold attachment. Modifications available for pickaxes and other tools. I don't really know what that means. Maybe we get more gold with this attachment and more melee damage as well. That's interesting. I didn't know that was even a thing. Or some veggies and, and fruit. Um, That would be cool. I don't think I'm really ready to start any gardens or anything or cook up any recipes. So maybe we just do the attachments for the pickaxe. We'll grant impact one when attached to an item, plus 10% melee damage. I don't really care about that so much. Um, plus 25% yield from mining gold. That's really good. Oh, okay. So, oh! What? That scared me so much. Is it going to blow up? Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. All right, let's head back to our base and then we'll figure it out. I always feel vulnerable looking through my inventory and stuff when uh, we're just standing out here in the open. Um, I should be... Oh, I passed my base to go get that, that drop. And on our way back, we leveled up here. Uh, I'm just going to get my arrow back. All right. Um... Let's check this out here. Can we just drop it down on this? No. Doesn't give us the option to add any attachment. Do we have to do it at like an anvil or something? I don't see any options up here. Well, I'm not really sure. I'm just going to store these in the anvil right now. It's not a massive thing that I need right now. It's, it's plus 25% on the gold. And I'm not super concerned about gold right now. I did pick up a little bit in the last cave run, but that's about it. 
So I think before I wrap it up here, what I want to do is build one more bridge. I think I'm going to kind of drop it down here and extend across here. This is another route that I take pretty frequently and um, it's pretty annoying to swim through. Okay, um, I did something a little bit different and I just decided to put it in the water. Just because of the way that this worked out with the stairs coming down here that I put down. Um, I don't know, I thought it was actually kind of uh, cool having it partially underwater. I think it looks pretty neat. You know, adds, adds, uh, it kind of mixes things up a little bit. And just to kind of top it off, as far as the base goes, I'm gonna put some railings right around the porch up here. Make it look a little bit cleaner, hopefully at least. There we go. Oh yeah, now it's starting to come together. Now it's starting to come together. The whole shape of the base and stuff with the second floor, that's all gonna be changing uh, as I start to make more moves towards aesthetics instead of just functionality. Um, but right now, this is gonna do just fine. We've got this beautiful little bridge out here, another awesome one out here, and um, we're really, really starting to progress here. Like I said, these railings are here just for aesthetics and not for any other reason, do not question it. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me, before we end it here, we've got this, um, mission thing still up on the left side. Do we have to go in here at all? Oh, okay. So I'm guessing we just have to request the next mission. Yeah, there it goes. Oh. Collect the portable beacon from the delivery pod. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'm going to wait on that. Um, I'm going to call it here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I seriously appreciate it. If you do like the video, please throw a like on it. Subscribe if you want to see some more. Um, you guys are really awesome. We've got a Discord if you want to join that. We've got channel memberships if you want to show some show some extra support. Buy me a coffee is also an option, uh, kind of an alternate to the channel memberships. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Later.